result. So Triac have actually unlisted the video because they probably were aware of what was happening because in the comments you got loads of neo-nazis, far-right people. Because too many woke people were like, you need so many conspiracy theory. <laughs> I would love to see the comments, <laughs> what the comments and, um, really were. Give them an unbiased look. saying that this video was red pilling people because it was pointing people towards Yuri and his whole conspiracy theory, which I'm going to debunk in a sec. But let's read. Pe people have been pointing us towards Yuri for like two years. Now. I know, I know. Some comments. So someone says this hits a little too close to home, as we're seeing what's happening right now. Again, this is probably a right winger talking. About what? Oh my God, we said that. Probably a right winger. Yeah. I hope that right winger likes UBI. Look at this. <laughs> this hits a little too close to home as we are seeing what is happening right now. Oh, confirmed fascist. Nailed I know. Him. I know. Oh, look. Look at this guy. That's so not bad. I know. Look at this one. I like this one. Every record has been destroyed or falsified. Every book rewritten. Every picture has been repainted. Every statue and street building has been renamed. Every date has been altered. And the process is continuing day by day and minute by minute. History has stopped. Nothing exists except an endless present in which the party is always right. George by Orwell. By George Orwell. <laughs> Holy known <shit>. fascist sympathizer. <laughs> George Orwell was a fucking communist. <laughs> That's God, hilarious. That's so funny. About cultural Hold on, maybe he'll call George Orwell a, a fascist. We'll see. Maybe, maybe he doesn't know. Yes. Marxism. Someone else saying everyone should look up the interview with Yuri Bezmenov. It's real. It's happening again. It's cultural Marxism. These people are talking about. Other people saying we should watch it. The teaser slick relates to ongoing events in America right now. Is the screen just frozen for me, or is he not showing the comments? I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking the same exact thing. It's a little weird. I don't know. Maybe it's watched now, together. Who knows? Oh no, he changed it. Holy Yuri Bezmenov in a car oh, trailer. What a way to red pill normies. Red pilling uh, is so bad too. Like, I know. You wouldn't want to be red pilled, guys. I know. They see that's the thing. They they say, oh, red pill, that's that must just because like the fucking poll assholes use it. Oh, it's gotta mean, you know, Nazis. Based and red pilled. Yes. Yeah. Based and red pill. Someone else says, seems oddly, for a lack of a better term, red-pilled. Someone else... It's funny. So far, he hasn't shown anyone talking about cultural Marxism or Jews or anything like that. Yeah. Why wouldn't nope. he? You know he would go straight to the I nasty know. stuff. Maybe it's there at the bottom. This should be every American's duty to watch the Yuri Bezmenov interview, especially right now. Very true. Very true. Yeah. This is legit what's happening in the U.S. right now. Made my heart stop. Said, Hello, this is comrades. In the US 52 right now. Heart stop. <laughs> Someone else saying it should be every American's duty to watch the Yuri Bezmenov interview, especially right now. Yes. So nice and disturbing there that the neo Nazis seem to love this trailer. So what? <laughs> That's your evidence for neo Nazis? Oh my! I love all these innocuous uh, comments. It's like, oh, they're all neo Nazis. You can't. You, you can. You can just. Just take a big whiff of the screen, you can smell the Nazis. What were we talking about, about the boy who cried wolf? Come on. Seriously? This is your Nazi evidence? What? Yes. <laughs> what the? And it's so counterproductive because, again, if there ever are real Nazis, they're going to be able to hide because you fucking call everyone Nazis. It's so fucking stupid. It's it so is. counterproductive. It is. But they don't care. It's all about seizing political power yep. and labeling everyone you disagree with f with some negative label to make them too scared to speak out against your ideology. That's the tactic here. Yeah. Yeah. They're vocal about that. Right. Let's get into you. Let's debunk what he is saying and how yes. most of what he said is ridiculous stuff and really plays into my belief and a lot of people's beliefs online that what he is saying was designed to appeal to the far right people who supposedly love him and bring him up to date. Based on my analytics, some of you tune out after about five minutes. So let's just say this, Yuri. <laughs> oh my shit. Can't imagine why. Ah, oh, says so much about the commies right there. <laughs> Due to my <laughs> analytics, nobody really listens to my video past five Com minutes. Look, it's commies are well known for having a short attention span, Adam, okay? I guess. Give yeah. me please. Give me money, please. <laughs> Bezmanov basically pushes cultural Marxism. That is essentially the whole thing he's talking about in that interview, in this transcript I'm going to read. He essentially is the ex-Soviet Jordan Peterson. Seriously, if... <laughs> what? Oh, he's awesome? Is that what, is that what he's saying? I would like he's to great. take this he's moment, wonderful. since he brought up Jordan Peterson, to personally mm -hmm. thank you, Canada, for Jordan Peterson. That's true. You know, thank Jordan you, Canada. 
Peterson's stance on cultural Marxism, you know about Yuri. And if you know about cultural Marxism in general and how it was invented in the 1930s to describe the Frankfurt School of Philosophers, you know, saying their stance on sexual liberation, stance on, you know, equality for minorities, stances on a lot of things like that, was all designed to undermine Western society. Of course, fascists also took that and cultural Bolshevism to say that all- Uh-oh. Someone didn't do the research on the term cultural Marxism. <laughs> it's so funny be because this has been this has been the the bullshit leftist talking point is that cult cultural Marxism cultural Marxism is really just a rebranding of the term cultural Bolshevikism. Okay, mm -hmm. it's really just a rebranding of the Nazi term to describe how like the Jews are behind everything. And it's mm -hmm. funny because you know obviously we, the Nazis were very anti-communist. They're very anti-Jews, and they're looking for the scapegoat. They're saying, why did our country fail in World War I? Why does our country suck right now? Well, you know, it can't be our fault, right? It's never, it's never the in-group's fault for the problems. They're like, well, it's obviously the communist problem, and we need a good scapegoat. So let's blame the commies and the Jews, and let's say that all the commies are Jews. And yeah, they're really trying to subvert our... Yeah, exactly. It just makes it easy. And they say, let's let's claim that the the Jews are trying to subvert our you know amazing German culture, mm -hmm. which is very funny if you listen to our Adam Neely video with Shanker, the uh, German supremacist Jew. But that's another story. <laughs> but so it's interesting because he says he says the term comes from the 1930s, which is wrong. I mean, he's referring to the the Bolshevik Nazi term comes from the 30s, but the term, the actual term, cultural Marxism, was created by a man named Trent. Scroyer mm. in the 60s. Scroyer, huh? I'm sorry. In the 19, 1973, he created this term in a book called, let me see, I have it open, called The Critique of Domination and the Origins and Development of Critical Theory. Okay. What? Oh and this is a God. guy who's in favor of critical theory. This is a guy who's in favor of, I guess wow. he's in favor of socialism. And it's kind of complicated because the, the book is like, Jesus Christ, reading this book is like fucking makes you want to kill yourself. But anyway, he's the one that comes up. Uh, he's the one that's credited with coming up with the term cultural Marxism. Mm -hmm. And this is super interesting. If you go to Wikipedia right now and you type in cultural Marxism, you won't find it. What you'll really? find is a page that directs you to cultural Marxism conspiracy theory. Okay? Wow. Wow. And it, and it says... Cultural Marxism is a far-right anti-Semitic conspiracy theory which claims Western Marxism as the basis of continuing academic and intellectual efforts to subvert Western culture. You know, blah, 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 blah. And it goes on and on and on. When the term is literally it, from critical theory. Right. The term is literally from critical theory. But here's what's very interesting. If you go to the Wayback Machine, okay, uh -oh. and you type in wikipedia.org slash uh, wiki slash cultural Marxism, you'll find out that there actually used to be an article on cultural Marxism that the fucking leftist editors on Wikipedia deleted and have now since hid off the internet. Really? Okay. Yes. In the original Wikipedia on cultural Marxism says, cultural Marxism refers to a school of offshoot of Marxism that conceives of culture as central to the legitimization of oppression in addition to the economic factors that Karl Marx emphasize well that sure sounds like critical theory and it's so funny because you read i'm not gonna read the whole thing but if you go on the uh, wayback machine and find it it goes through the entire thing of cultural marxism and doesn't talk about it being a conspiracy theory it just talks about like the actual like where it came to be from and, and how it how it evolved and it's true that in the 90s and and after that there were um conservative politicians and fundamental religious types that would say everything is cultural marxism they would say oh everything's the commies right we already talked about yeah they, they would just use sure. a label for everything but so then because of that it's allowed actual communists to try to rewrite history and pretend like the term cultural marxism never actually referred to a legitimate criticism of a school of thought that marxists created for them fucking selves yeah they they make it sound like the right wingers came up with this stuff. No, not that they yeah, just found it on, found it and pointed it out. Right, right. It's so ridiculous. They're say, they're saying that this uh, cultural Marxism is basically the straw man version cooked up by the right uh, for what they really believe. 
It's funny that mm-hmm. it actually comes from what they really believe. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually, I'll put the link in the chat and you can see this is what the article used to look like for cultural Marxism before um, the, the leftist Wikipedia editors uh, hit it from the internet. So sad.